there was a time early in the season where everyone might have forgotten about Wisconsin or maybe put them on the back burner a little bit. All of a sudden, the Badgers have swept three in a row, won six in a row, move up to number 11 in the rankings today and ninth in the RPI. And a big reason is setter Lauren Carlini, who joins me from Wisconsin. Hi, Lauren. Hi. You guys are playing well. It must be really fun right now. It is. I mean, I think we're really just starting to gel as a team and we're starting to get a little bit more consistent playing wise and just we don't let things get in our way. You know, we don't we don't get um, worried when we're down. We know that we have confidence in ourselves to finish games and come back and uh, and win those. Um, you know, you personally have been there. You played in the finals as a freshman. Um, um, is this correct that only you and Haley really have that kind of experience uh, going going into this year? Um, being on the floor in those matches, yes. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a little different. We have, and Taylor Morey, um, she was a DS on that team as well, but it's, it's a different dynamic. We have a ton of young girls on the team, but at the same time, we also have, um, a lot of experienced girls, but maybe who didn't play at Wisconsin or didn't play much up until the past year or two. And so, it's a different dynamic. We've we've finally gotten used to it, but it's it's been a fun ride so far. Oh, for sure. Well, and I should say Haley is Haley Nelson. Um, but so there's a couple of things at play. So when the season started, even though you, you were healthy, you were still coming off a pretty major in, injury, which was your sprained ankle in the NCAA tournament last year. Yep. And having to bounce back from that and see where you were. And then, like we said, there, there were new teammates, um, you know, some transfers, young players. And that's the upside is you guys are so young. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think there's just a lot of growing pains in the beginning of the year. We were trying to figure out who we are as a team, what our identity is, what type of roles everyone is going to play. And so with that, of course, there's a little bit of confusion, a little bit of hesitation um, among each other. And obviously, as the season goes on, we all start to learn our little roles and things like that. But like I said, it's gotten better as the year has gone on. Um, we've all taken our role on the team and just really embrace that and I think that's really why we're starting to excel now we're, we're just getting stronger as the season's going on and just keep chopping wood is what we're always saying I like that well that yeah it's good so you know the year that you guys did go to the final there was one rotation where you were the tallest player the setter on the front row now at six one of course you are a tall setter at least this year you're surrounded by a lot of tall people um, let's start with Romana Kriskova who is a transfer and, you know, I don't know, have you played with many foreign players before? And is, was there an adjustment there? Um, I mean, I played with Jules, uh, but she, she didn't get much playing time the past few years. Uh, there really hasn't been an adjustment because she's a foreigner or anything like that. Romana has been great for us so far. She's, honestly, she's came in and just completely taken over the position and said, this is, this is my position, this is my spot, I'm going to own it. Um, and has done a great job, came up with some big points scoring for us when we needed her to. You got a lot of other weapons. Um, Haley Nelson, who we talked about, Tiana Williams, yeah. who's a freshman, really having a good year. Um, Lauren Gillis, the transfer from uh, USC. And then, of course, uh, Kelly Bates, who, you know, watching your match against Michigan State, she seemed to come up huge all the time. You know, that, yeah. was, that was nice for you guys to be on ESPN, too, and get a lot of nice TV coverage the other day. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think the best thing about our team is that we're we're able to if someone's having a little bit of a rough match someone else is able to come through and help them out and have an even better match and so just kind of complimenting each other in that way and just being able to take over the reins when need be we we have you know game changers on every single position of the court and so i think that's really helped us so far and people have again embraced that role and we're, we're using it to our advantage. The Big Ten did a fantastic documentary piece um, yeah. last month about um, your team, Wisconsin, leading up to your match with Penn State. And mm -hmm. it, it gave a lot of great insight into Lauren Carlini. It showed, one, how hard you work on the court and off. And, I mean, to a ridiculous degree, I might add. I knew that, but when you see it on that. And then the other was it showed you, you know, in your personal life. Was that hard for you to let them just be around and see you being – not only such a hard worker and then having fun being goofy? Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be a little weird having cameras around all the time. But 
I mean, it, this it wasn't fake. It wasn't we were we weren't just making things up as we went. This is all of that all that they showed is what we actually do and what our normal game plans work and how our daily schedules are. And so I think it's good for people to be able to see what Wisconsin volleyball is all about and how we go about things. And it was it was fun doing it because I mean do we really play dodgeball? Yes, we do. We literally just throw balls as hard as we can at each other just for funsies. Yeah, that's um, a pretty small apartment to be throwing things really hard, by the way. I was like, you know. <laughs> yeah, who knows what can happen. <laughs> yeah, don't break anything. Um, yeah. All right, you got, you got six regular season matches, and then, of course, the tournament. You know the drill, so I'll get you out of here on this, and it's a question I've asked other players on top-level teams. Um, Wisconsin can win the national championship because, and then fill in the blanks. Because we keep getting better each and every week. Every week, that is our one goal. We don't worry about standings. We don't worry about rankings. We don't worry about personal awards. We worry about getting better and maximizing our potential. Period. Works for me. You're awesome. Right. Thanks for visiting with me, your great interview. Oh, absolutely.